Welcome to Writing Assembly Program for 8085. We start by looking at a program. A program is a set of instructions written in a sequence to do a task. We can divide a program into two parts. Initialization. They are set of instructions which set the initial values for the variables that we use. And the structure. The structure consists of instructions to do the task. The task may be executed once or it could be repeated. repeated. When a task repeats, it could be for a fixed number of times or for an infinite period. Let's examine some assembly code. In this code, we use add C. But is it possible to add a value of register C without knowing the value of initial value of what it contains? Similar way, when we say XRI 45, XRI 45, what is the value of the accumulator or move B to M? Which memory location does this M indicate? So these are the values that we need to initialize. When we look at the task, we are supposed to check for the values required in the program and we initialize those values at the, at the beginning of the program. So in short, for this code, we would require the value of A, we would require the value of C, we would require the value of a register that points to the memory location, HL or these values need to be initialized. So here, after we have added the initializations, the program code would look like this. We initialize with these three instructions, the values for each of the register, and then we are, when then we use the code to do the task. So the first, Instruction will add the value of C which is initialized with the value of A which is also initialized and also the memory M which is initialized in HL pair at 4000 so the value of M will be the location 4000 brought in the register B. How do we do the initialization? Initialization of registers can be in any sequence. You could initialize a register A before C and H or H before A and C or provided that the initialization is done before we use those values. So it does the sequence of the initialization does not matter. Let us write an algorithm for the program. For the same program, the steps of the program would be writing proper steps of the program is called as an algorithm. Here we demonstrate for the same program. The first step would be to initialize the value of A. The next step is to initialize the value of C. The next step is to initialize the memory location, which is pointed by HL pair. Then we add the value of register C to A. We will XOR a immediate value 45 to A. And we will move the value of memory into register B. So this would be the algorithm for the program that we have seen earlier. Now we come to 
drawing flowchart. Drawing flowchart is a graphical way of representing the program flow. We use different shapes like the rectangle, the rhombus, the circles as connectors, the start and stop, rounded rectangle, rectangle with rounded, rounded edges and we use some pointers to indicate the direction of program execution. This is a example of the program that we have seen. Here we show the first symbol start, then we show a rectangle for initialization. All these because they are having just simple significance are clubbed together or they could also be indicated separately for each instruction like initialization of A, initialization of C, initialization of H. Then the next the flow proceeds to adding C to A and the result is stored in register A. Then the a value, immediate value 45 is added to A, is XOR to A and saved in A. And finally the memory value is stored in B. So this is the flow of this program. With this we have seen writing the algorithm, drawing the flowchart and also writing the program. Let us take a, another example. In this example we try to add n, num n numbers which are stored at starting location 2000. So the n numbers, the first number will be at 2000, the next one at 2001, 2 and so on. And the result is stored at 2100. In this case we can assume the number n. So we assume the value of number n is 7. We start by writing the algorithm, then we draw the flowchart and finally we write the program. So writing the algorithm. The algorithm would be for n numbers starting at location 2000 we need to initialize a pointer to the first location. So we use the edge pointer. Next we use we need to count. Since we bring the first value in, in the accumulator we just take the count of the remaining numbers. So when we have numbers, seven numbers, the first number is brought to the accumulator and we add the remaining six numbers. So we initialize the counter with six. Next we use the increment. We increment the pointer to point to the next number. The content of the memory is then added to A. Now the remaining numbers is 5, so we decrement the count. The count indicates the remaining numbers. If the count is not 0, when we decrement the count, if the count is not 0, we repeat steps 4, 5 and 6. Then we store the value of the result at memory location 2100 as the Result is in accumulator, it is stored in 2100. Now we start by writing the flowchart, drawing the flowchart. We start the flowchart, then we initialize the pointer, we initialize the counter, we, in, we bring the first value of the memory into accumulator. Then we increment the pointer to the next location. We add the memory location to A. We decrement the count of remaining numbers. We check if the count is 0. If it is not 0, we will just repeat these steps of incrementing, adding and count, decrement the count. 
if it becomes 0 we will save the value of a in m and the program we halt this is the assembly code writing program has five columns the third column is the mnemonics where we write the assembly code for each step in the flowchart we write a code like initializing h to point to the memory initializing the count in using register c bringing the first value in a incrementing the pointer adding the value of memory to accumulator decrementing the count jump if not zero jump if not zero is jump repeating steps earlier steps if the count is not zero storing the, storing the value of accumulator and finally terminating the program here we start determining the addresses so once we know the first address depending on the number of bytes for each instruction we can calculate the addresses and here the loop indicates the address the address of the label so that, that is what we need to update in this hex code finally some practice examples the first one we have already done write a program to add n numbers the second program would be to perform subtraction of two very large numbers having three bytes with another number of three three bytes length and storing the result at lo starting at location 4000 the next example is to find the largest number here we assume the numbers 15 numbers which are starting at location 6000 the second part for this problem would be trying to find the smallest number next we count we write a program to count the number of zeros in a value of the value that is in accumulator uh, the second part of this program would be finding the number of points the next problem program we see is implementing a counter to count decimal numbers not text and generate a one second delay the same is the second part of this problem is repeating the same thing but for a down count. Finally, another program would be to copy a set of numbers stored at one location. In this case, 10 bytes stored at location 2000 onwards to 4000 onwards. So these are some practice examples which can, you can practice. Thank you.